Hi guys and welcome back and today we'll have a quick look at the work in progress on the 28mm Haledonian Napoleonic Hussars. Now as you might appreciate getting reference material for Haledonian Napoleonic Cavalry isn't easy but luckily Osprey made one version of the book and before that was able to go into publication the Haledonian Secret Service got wind of this and managed to pilfer it. And, of course, it never saw the light of day. So this book's been handed down through the generations. And uh, I am, luckily, the custodian of it at this current time. And the other thing is worth noting for those of you who are students of Haledonian history, you might remember that Cockburn Saka the chap who did a bit of the narration in the first encounter video, The History of the Haledonian Armed Forces. This was his first commission as a young fellow back in 1811. You remember he described the in attempted German invasion of the Netherlands in uh, 1938. So um, just a little factoid for you all. Now, I normally wait until I've finished a project, and I've got 16 of these guys, but I wanted to show you what I've done so far, and I also want to ask for your advice. So this is just blocked in the base colours. Haven't done much in the way of detail work at all, just sort of being careful with the base colours as they go down. And the horse is basically just undercoated and a little bit of work on the actual base that it's glued onto. But my question to you is this. I don't know what to do with the horses. I don't know whether to just do the normal random various colours of horses, some black and some brown and bays and whatever, roans, is that a colour? Roan? And some greys and whites. Or should I do all the one colour? And I was sort of thinking Scott's grey inspiration to have all fundamentally grey horses with various tones, but I really don't know what to do. So this is a very quick video, mainly just to get your help and just to talk about the figure slightly in the next little bit. Now, I've been lugging these figures around with me since about 1981. I remember I was down in Geelong, which is nowhere near anywhere I should have been. Don't know why and stumbled across a sort of toy shop and they had a big cardboard box in one corner and it was just full of all these 28 mil metal figures. And I spent about an hour trolling through it and managed to pull out 16 Hussars and 16 of the next group, which I won't spoil yet. And they had no horses, so I just had them in a, a little bag, a paper bag, back in the days when paper bags were things. And they've been following me around ever since then. And I dug them out when I knew we were moving into the rental because I knew it wouldn't have much room. And it was the sort of thing I could just paint on the corner of the desk. And if you don't like these sorts of videos from me, then blame Gavin because Gavin's inspired me to have a crack at painting some 28mm figures. Now, Gavin's a bit of a legend in the hobby and he's got a great YouTube channel and probably one of the most diverse hobbyists that I follow and watch. He does everything. He's doing 6 mil armour right now, but he paints Napoleonics, American Civil War, Ancients. He does busts. He does normal 135th scale kits, die-cast cars. He does everything. And uh, great chap. Really, really easy to listen to. And I would encourage you all, check him out. I'll put the link in the description below. Great model and a really nice guy. And uh, he has inspired me. So if you don't like this, it's all his fault. If you like it, it's all his fault. I have done some in the past in my younger days when I was a Napoleonic war gamer, amongst other things, but that's a long time ago as well. And the view is, I think, when I bought these, that I would add them into my army, but never got around to doing it. So I think they're Hinchcliffe figures, and I think they're actually Russian hussars from the little bit of research I can do from the stamping on the inside of the saddle, but that's really crap. And of course, I started filing them all to make sure they could fit on some horses that I bought. Recently, so I just recently bought some metal horses from somewhere, I don't know where. They were way too expensive, but I wanted to keep the horses consistent with the figures. And that is about the history of all these things. So, 
with that, as I said, very short video, just give you a bit of a sneak peek. Colour of the horses, guys. Please help me out. Popular vote will win. Again, as always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate your time and your help. And I will catch you in the next one.